Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how you can easily copy and paste between all of your Apple devices. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 500 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it, join us, and get exclusive content. So a great feature of all your Apple devices is their ability to copy and paste between them. In other words, you can copy something on one device like your iPad and then paste it on your Mac. You don't have to do any additional steps for that. You just copy on one device, paste on the other. This is all part of the continuity set of features and actually part of something called Handoff. Handoff is also the feature that allows you to do things like start writing an email or creating a document on one device and then just pick it up on another. You could use this with just about anything that you can copy like text, images, files. Let me show you. So let's look at one of the most basic examples. Here I am on my iPad and I've selected some text on a web page. And I'm going to tap it and copy. And then here I am on my Mac and you can see there was even a message coming up saying that something was being copied on the iPad there. Now I'm going to go here and paste. So I'm going to do Command V or I can do Edit Paste. And you can see it pastes the exact text that I copied from my iPad. So that's the simplest case. Just copying some text on your iPad or your iPhone and then you can paste it here on your Mac. You can of course also do the opposite. I can select some text here. I'm going to do it in Pages. I can do it in any app where I can copy text. I'm going to Command C or Edit Copy that text. And then here on the iPad I'm going to paste that and I'm going to paste that into the search field here. So I'll use the Paste Command and you can see it pastes that text right in there. But you can go way beyond text. Pretty much anything that you can copy to the clipboard will work. So let's go and copy an image. I'm going to copy this image that's here and then here on my Mac I can paste that in. So Command V just does the paste. I could have copied it from my Photos app. I could have copied it from an image editing app. Here I just copied it in Safari and then I was able to paste the image. So it works for text. It works for images. It works for just about anything you can put into the copy buffer. It can even work for files. As you probably already know you can copy and paste files in the Finder on the Mac but you can also copy and paste files between your devices. So here I am in a folder here on my local hard drive. I've got a file here. I can copy that file. And then I can go over to my iPad and in the Files app I'm looking at the local on my iPad area there in the Files app. So not an iCloud. And here I could just tap in the middle of the screen and you can see I've got Paste and I could Paste there. And there the files pasted. So this gives you a way to quickly transfer files. And this isn't a small file. This is a 31 meg file here uh, and I was able to put it onto my iPad or iPhone pretty easily using this. This works on the iPhone just as easily with text, with images, here with a file. Again I'm going to copy and then here on my iPhone in the Files app in a local folder not using iCloud Drive I'm going to simply paste and it will paste the file in there. So here's also the same thing between two Macs. I've got my Mac Pro on my desktop and my MacBook Pro here and I can copy this File here, Command C, and over here on my MacBook Pro I can paste and it will paste that file. It works, of course, with images, with text, with anything in the clipboard as well. To get this working, you've got to make sure that you have a few things turned on. First of all, you want to make sure that you've got Bluetooth turned on. You want to make sure you have Wi Fi turned on as well. And you want to make sure you have this feature turned on which is under General and System Preferences and it's called Handoff. Allow a handoff between this Mac and your iCloud devices. On your iPhone or iPad the settings for this are under General and then you'll see AirPlay and Handoff and you make sure Handoff is turned on. And of course also check for Bluetooth and check for Wi-Fi. And then it goes without saying that you have to be signed into the same iCloud account on all these devices. That's the key that links all these together is being signed in with your Apple ID in your iCloud account. So even if you have all of these things set up correctly some people report that they still have trouble using this or it only works from one device to another and not the opposite way. I've even run into situations where it just seems to stop working. What works for me to get it working again is simply to turn handoff off and then turn it back on again. Try that on each device. So it's a quick switch on and off. 
Other people have said that they've had to restart their machine entirely to get it going. And there's still other people that say they can't get it working at all. Of course it goes with that saying that you need to have a fairly recent Mac. So if your Mac's like 8 years old or your iPad is 7 years old and using an old version of iOS it's probably not going to work. And as I showed you here it's super handy for transferring files. It's easier to use this than it actually is to use AirDrop for transferring files. So I hope you get some use out of it. Thanks for watching. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.